What is up YouTube? Welcome back again. It's your buddy Chiknavar. And in this video I'm going to show you this mini amplifier kit. And uh, I'm going to tell you the connections. How it's uh, going to be. So that's a brand name. Monty. It's a Kolkata based local brand. So let me open this thing. But well, that's the kit itself. It's a mini amplifier, uh, not a class D. It's a class AB amplifier, and this the IC is CD six two eight three. So you can go to the store and ask for uh, six two eight three IC amplifier. You'll get this one, and this thing cost me only forty five rupees from local store. So very cheap one, and this is a class AB amp. So very low distortion and I must tell you that this one is much better than the 4440 IC the conventional IC which uh, has been in use for a very long time for normal low level amplifiers that was a popular one uh, in certain time but it depends on the amplifier kit that was built if you, that must be a good branded one or else you're gonna get some noise humming noise, hissing noise, so many kind of noise from the amplifier. The 4440 has that kind of problem in some cases. So this thing doesn't have any noise problem. Uh, it's a clean amplifier, 15 watt plus 15 watt RMS. So you just need to put it 12 volt power supply. At least give it a one amp. You can give it more than one amp like two, but not give it more than that because it cannot handle that much of uh, current so also do one thing if you give it a more than one amp uh, to a power supply then replace this one this capacitor is a 25 volt or 2200 mfd or 3700 mfd capacitor and also is a bigger heatsink instead of this one this is a very small heatsink so I just do that Except that this is going to work with uh, any 12 volt 1 amp or 2 amp power supply. So now uh, let me show you the connections. As you can see this side the capacitor and diode diodes are here. So you must understand that this is the power supply section. Now how it's going to work. Let me show you that. So nowadays the PCBs are marked with uh, all the stuff you need. As you can see speaker 1, speaker 2. A VC1, one's volume control, a volume control 2. But still, if you don't have much of knowledge of electronics, then it's uh, gonna be a problem for you to find out the other uh, worse connections from this. So, simple. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, now, first of all, if you want to use a SMPS power supply or ready power supply, which is giving a 12 volt DC. I must remember that 12 volt DC from any power supply then order to do what you need to do is you just need to follow this bigger capacitor where it's placed and that side is marking as negative and the other side would be positive so that side this one is negative and this one is positive so you just need to connect that power supply negative here to this negative of the capacitor and the positive one to this positive side of the capacitor that's it you're done if you are using a dc 12 volt power supply from any smps or any uh, what to say power adapter or anything like that even you are using a transformer with a uh, rectifier kit installed in it so in that case use just these two pins of this capacitor the negative to the negative and positive to the positive of this capacitor and you're done and now if you're using a transformer only transformer with a two pin output like a 12 zero output so in that case what you need to do is even you can use a uh, 12 zero 12 volt uh, transformer with a three pin to 12 volt and one zero volt so you can use that too but in that case one card would be negative so you can use that if you have an extra transformer for using this thing but you don't need to buy that you need to buy a transformer with a 12 volt and 
12 and 0 volt power supply with two pin out from the secondary section so you just need to connect those two pins right there you can see so these are four diodes here here they are working as a bridge rectifier diode and two of them are connected here and two of them are connected here and the other two are going to work as a negative negative this two side and other side the positive so it just need they are separately mounted here you can see that one and this one so you just connect one wire of the transformer output here other one here that's it you're done that's the ac input this two point right there it's coming from the transformer 12 volt 1 amp power supply 1 amp or 2 amp 12 zero two pins are coming right here one and two so 12 volt and zero volt 12 volt zero volt anything you can that's it your power supply is done now uh, the speaker connections as you can see is written here sp1 that point that's a speaker connection for speaker one and here is p2 that's the speaker connection for speaker two you'll find a few speaker connections come with uh, this capacitor at the output right here one for left channel one for right channel they are marked here a speaker one speaker two so it's uh, very simple to find so now that's for speaker one and that's for speaker two but you need two and two four wires for two speakers but here in this case one wire would go to the ground so you can connect with one speaker wire here that's a positive and you can connect the other one any anywhere on this ground point that would be your one speaker point another one speaker two connect one wire here that's a positive one and connect the other one anywhere on this bigger place these are like uh, that's a negative so positive negative both speaker words are done so let me tell you again speaker one that's positive and connect the other one to the ground and speaker two that's a positive and connect the other one to the ground speaker work connections are done and now the volume control here you can see it's written a VC here that's a VC input and that's a VC2 input and that's for the left channel that's for the right channel so you'll find always the input connected with a, a small value of resistance right here you can see the R4 and the R5 right here that's the input if you are not using the volume control you can simply connect the input one input here other input here and the ground here from a studio cable aux cable like that left channel right channel and ground any of this ground there okay done and if you are using volume control then you know the left side of the volume control will go to the input like aux and from the middle uh, the wire will come to here or left channel and from another volume control the middle point will come to here the right channel and then both the right corners will be connected to the ground that that's way you'll have a volume control right there with the input so that's the basic connection of this thing to help you identify this mini amplifier model connections and uh, if you have a problem if you have any problem you can ask me and also you can build this thing by yourself if you, if you have a basic knowledge of electronics this is a very nice uh, amplifier a small one a cheap one and a good sound quality so later i'm going to make a complete amplifier using this thing then i'm going to show you the connections in details so stay tuned for that bye bye